seven feet five inches. You can't tell that's there. Kill their other victim. Maybe blood. When you can start seeing the print, stop super glowing. Any and everywhere you step or sit is where evidence can be found. An FBI agent is in the middle of a crime scene investigation with students at United Methodist related Claflin University in South Carolina. They gave us insight into what an FBI agent actually does on an everyday basis. I think I was most fascinated with uh, the actual fingerprint evidence. And it cleans all the excess powder off. I got three fingerprints on there. The importance of photographs. One of the things I took part in was photography. And the gathering of DNA evidence. If you try to pick out what's bone and what's not, it's going to be hard. Dr. Omar Bagazra urged the university to offer this hands-on training. He wanted his students at this historically black college to have the opportunities you might expect from larger institutions. We're a very small school. You know, with the grace of God, we have state of the art technology, we have state of the art teachers. So I will tell all the minority school, get on a board, get on the wagon, because our people need that. These FBI agents create crime scenes from actual cases and help the students figure out the crime using FBI techniques. DNA is first, everything else is second. They do emphasize, though, it's not like what you see on TV. I love CSI, but it's Hollywood. A classroom is littered with clues for students to analyze. We have various clothing that have um, mock blood on it, bottles and Coke cans that have fingerprints on it, animal bones out so they can see those bones. Just like the TV show, but not. On CSI, they solve a case in an hour, and in true life, that usually isn't how it works.